Nearly a dozen shell casings outside Brower Park in Brooklyn. Yellow tape lining the streets instead of kids and families. They had to flee once they heard gunfire, according to neighbors. Erica Ham was at the park an hour before the shooting. Actually, this is not the first time. It, this is, I was just speaking with uh, my girlfriend, and this is like the third time we have had run-ins like this where we just missed a shooting. Police say a vehicle pulled up at the corner of Kingston Avenue and Park Place. A male inside started shooting. A woman was grazed in the upper shoulder. She was not the intended target, according to police. I'm glad that I wasn't here because literally I was right up there, right on this side. Where the so. yellow tape is? Uh, a little past the yellow tape. Dozens of people were also shot and several killed in a violent weekend across New York City. The latest incident happened outside St. Patrick's Cathedral. Police say around 4.30 Monday morning, two groups of individuals got into a dispute. One person pulled out a gun and fired one shot. I was concentrated to the gallery and then I heard shots, I think, but I don't know exactly two or three. An early Sunday morning, a shooting took place at the boardwalk in Coney Island. A 42 year old was killed and four others were injured. And in the Bronx, three people were killed and several shot within 24 hours. But despite the number of shootings over the weekend, police numbers show incidents do appear down from this time last year. That's not enough for Erica. Every neighborhood and it's starting to get scary now. We're actually talking about leaving New York.